I am of course D, and this is Pretty Pixels, an eraser maker. And it's by the company Bandai, which is a very good company actually. So I'm excited to see what this is all about. Look how cute they look. So apparently in this kit, you can make uh, four medium erasers or six small erasers. I think we're gonna go for the four medium erasers. And let's see what else we can find out from looking at the box. Um, <clears throat> says you just choose the design template, build your eraser, wet the eraser, and close this little special, um, I don't know, container, <laughs> tool, and then put in the microwave, and then you cool to let your eraser set. And I'm so excited to see what we can make today. Apparently there are sweets category a set, fashion and fruits. Ours is animals? Yeah, animals, of course. <laughs> I love animals. So yeah, let's get into it and see what we have here. Okay, and that doesn't sound like it'll take too long to do. Oh, I just noticed here it says pencils not included in the set. So I guess we might, I don't know, are they, I don't know. I was gonna say, are they pencil toppers or it's just meant to erase pencils and they're just saying there aren't any in the kit. I don't know, let's find out. Ooh, all right. Now, some things that I find make a really good craft kit are of course, very clear and well um, made instructions. Uh, this looks like a nice color one. Does it fold? Looks like it folds, yeah. Okay. Oh, Cosmo. <laughs> Excuse me one second. I might be getting a delivery. Ooh. Okay, so Cosmo was right. It was a delivery. And it's really, really exciting actually because it is of something for a future kind of craft slash toy video that I plan to do with you guys. So really excited it's here. And now let's focus back to our little pixel erasers. So we have uh, I think I was talking about what makes a good craft kit in my opinion and of course it was clear well um, laid out instructions which it looks like we are probably having right here so that's really good I'm excited and let's see what else we have here okay we have like little plasticky looking things not sure what that's for yet looks like we have some templates we do have oh, of course I want to grab here because that's the fun color stuff right Oh, look how tiny this is. I don't know why I thought it'd be bigger, but it's so tiny. This looks like the little tool thing to make our erasers. I don't know if there's a, another name for it yet, but we'll find out. Ooh, little pieces. Okay, apparently we have some hearts. We have like a little pink plastic tweezer. Okay, we have, I'm gonna call, it looks to me like a waffle maker. At least it makes me think of a waffle maker. Very interesting. Oh, I hope I didn't break it. So I'll have to read the instructions and figure out what all this stuff is uh, for and how to use it. But look at the colors we have, guys. We have like a pale, whoops, these are stuck together. Ah! <laughs> like a pale, like minty green color. We have white, of course. We have yellow. We have pink. We have a beautiful purple and a beautiful sky blue. And they're all like these little um, pixel shaped tubes, if you will, which look to be like maybe close to half an inch or a quarter inch, just over a quarter inch, I would say. But anyways, really cool. Obviously that's what we're gonna use to make our erasers into little uh, designs. So let's see here. We have, let's take a look at our templates here. Okay. As usual, I will just be recording, well, I'll be recording lots of stuff, but I'll be only showing you guys after editing uh, the important stuff, of course, so it's not gonna be too boring or long. But here we go, we have apparently this. <clears throat> oh, it looks like we have like um, a little dog and it shows you here the colors. I guess this is if you wanna create your own little template, which is really thoughtful, very cute. This one looks like another little animal. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, but it tells you the amount of um, little pieces you need for each color and then where to place them, of course. This looks like a little bird. A little pony, perhaps. Oh, here you get, oh, these are for the small ones. If you wanna do six small ones, you could do that. 
Okay, but we're gonna do four. Hmm, unless we do one of our own, that would be kind of cool too. So maybe we'll do three of the medium ones, then do a medium one um, kind of from our own design. That's cool. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the camera for a moment. Of course, for you guys, I'll be, um, it'll be like a split second, but I'm gonna read the instructions. I'm gonna get myself all familiar with everything I need to do and what we have so that I can share it properly with you guys. And I'll be right back. Hang tight. Okay, so I think I got all the instructions that we need to do this and it sounds very simple and again, I'm super excited. So I'm gonna put this to the side and explain what um, I read. So this little tool, look how cute that is. Um, basically, you would take your design card, say we're gonna go for the pony, put it in like that and then we would remove the number of little pieces and to the colors that we need and place them here. They say you can use the tweezers provided. Once that is done, oh well, I should also mention, these are spacers. So if you wanna make different designs, it allows, of course, to create spaces within your eraser and they're reusable. They're recommended, of course, to keep them because you can, like I said, use them over and over again for future erasers and you just take them out when you're done heating them in the microwave. So once your design's actually done, you would then put your little piece there, take this, oh, this should be down, it's like a little stand, go and put, lock it in with this. Of course now that the, oh, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, now that I'm filming it, it's not working. Uh, then your little uh, design is in there. You're, you're, oh wait, you would have to put a, like a half a teaspoon of water on it. I'm just gonna spray a little bit on there with uh, a mist, like a water ball. Then you lock it in. Oh, sorry, no, my bad. You do have to remove like carefully your paper. Then you lock it in, put it in the microwave according to your microwave's um, wattage and it shows you there. So it's anywhere from, they recommend 90 seconds, which is a minute and a half, but it can go to almost two minutes or even just a minute and 10 seconds, depending on how strong your microwave is. Um, and then once you're done that, you would remove it and put it in, put this whole thing in cold water with ice cubes, shows ice cubes there, for about 10 minutes. And then you're ready to open it and reveal your creation. And that's so exciting. Okay, so I'm going to start by opening these packages. Let's see here. Okay, so I think that's that. And I was saying before, uh, what makes a good craft kit in my opinion, of course, were the well laid out and the instructions, but also to ensure that you have the all the items that you require. I know you can't have every single thing, but if, as long as you have the majority of it or and all you need are things that you would definitely or most likely have around the house, I'm fine with that. And another thing I would like to mention is that these are for if you wanna do the small erasers, it would just kind of fill in like spacers for you as well. So let's choose which design we're gonna do first. And I think we are going to do this looks like a squirrel. I'm gonna try doing the squirrel first. Does it tell you what it is? No. Okay, well, we're gonna do it anyways. And that means we need to start with yellow and we just slowly work from the bottom up. So I'm gonna do this, but I'll speed it up for you guys. I'm gonna try to do this carefully because these kind of stick to your hands. They're they're the almost feeling like silicone esque, if you will. But look at how cute that is. I think it's a little squirrel, so I'm gonna call it squirrel. And uh, yeah, so then we do this. I gotta be careful. I'm so excited though. Put that there. 
Of course, we have our spacers, and the spacers are the ones with the little red cross on it and the little side picture, the color key. Let me put this on. Oh, I don't want to mess it up. Ah, lock it in. Okay, make sure everything's nice and tight. Our little squirrel's looking good. And I'm going to hold this carefully while I pull this out even more careful. There's our template out. Okay, so I'm going to close this. Is that right? Oh, wow, it shuts. Okay, now you really got to push because now you have something in there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Is this going to close? I feel like if I open it again, it's going to be a problem. So I'm going to push. Okay, we're locked. So now let's go to the microwave. Okay, so we're at my microwave and we're going to open it up. And I think I'm going to try it for a minute and a half, like they suggest, because I don't know the power wattage or outage of this particular microwave. So let's go one minute plus 30 seconds and let's go. In the meantime, I'm going to get my little uh, bowl of ice water ready for the cool down. Let's go. Oh my goodness, I made a mistake. I forgot to put the half a teaspoon of water on the erasers and eraser and before I put it in the microwave. So I took it out. I'm letting it cool for a moment. I hope I didn't ruin it. If if I did, we're gonna have to start over. But I'm gonna take a look. Fingers crossed that this means it just nothing really happened. Good or bad. Oh my goodness, it looks fine. Okay, so half a teaspoon. Okay, can I go back in the microwave for that minute and a half? Fingers crossed, thank goodness it looks like everything is still gonna be okay. Phew. Okay, well that was interesting and scary all at the same time. So this, after about 40 seconds in the microwave, my microwave started to kind of like spark. And um, I don't know why. So I turned it off because I was just hearing it rather than seeing it at first and I was 100% sure. So I looked uh, after I stopped it and put it back in. After another five seconds, it started to spark inside my microwave. Like, you know, it's almost like if you put in your microwave like a piece of aluminum foil, which you should never do, or metal. Um, which you, again, you should never do. Uh, it was doing that. So I don't know, it didn't like it and I don't want it to ruin my microwave, of course. So I'm gonna put it in the cold water. And this might be our only eraser that we do because of that reasoning. And I'm not sure why it would spark. I'm gonna see if there's anything in the instructions that might tell me what's going on. Fingers crossed that this still works. Okay, it's been the 10 minute cool down time. So let's hope this works, even though I'm not sure if I left it in long enough or what is going on. Maybe I just left it in too long from my microwave. I don't know. I went searching on the internet to see if anyone else had problems like this with this kit and I couldn't find anything. So I'm really confused. All right, let's just hope that was kind of a random thing. Now my microwave is also like, a con it does conventional oven and air frying and stuff like that. So I don't know if that, that has anything to do with it or does anything to it. But let's take a look, fingers crossed that this worked out. Okay, ah, I'm nervous. Oh, <laughs> okay, so it's stuck here. Okay. Now, okay, so the spacers, of course, did not melt together, which they're not supposed to. So that's good. Let's see if I can get this off. Oh my goodness, did you work? Let's get the spacers off. I think we might be lucky, everyone. Oh, so far so good. Come on, spacer. <laughs> oh wow, it worked. It worked. 
worked. I'm so thrilled. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna put these little spacers away. Look at the little squirrel and it's stuck together. It's really good. Maybe I just had it on too long. Maybe my microwave is just that powerful. I don't know. So maybe I just needed it on for like maybe 40 seconds or 60 seconds. Now they do say, of course, to experiment with your microwave till you're comfortable with what your microwave will need time-wise with your eraser kit. So that's exciting, it worked. Oh goodness, <laughs> phew. Okay, well I was gonna do four of them, but I did. I don't know about the microwave thing. I think I'm gonna just practice um, on another one in, in maybe a little bit of, I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to talk to my husband about it and see what he thinks, but I think it'll be pretty safe to use it. I think it was just really in too long and didn't like it, but I'm really happy with it. I'm pretty sure everything is fine. I will leave a little comment up on the screen for you guys to let you know. Um, if it worked for another one. And if I did, I will put the picture along with it as well. And there we go. Ta-da! Love that. All right, well, again, I'll give it another go. I'll let you know up on the screen with a picture if it worked. And if it did not work, of course, there will be no picture, in, but I'll let you know that too. So yes, yeah, it's very, very cute. Um, You know what, huh, let me think. Yeah, that's how I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. So um, I would still say that this is very successful. Very, very cute. Uh, let's see if it erases though. Let's do that. One thing we did not do yet, but we really should. Very important because it is an eraser. And even though it's a fun craft, we have to make sure it's functional for what its purpose is as well. So let's just go here. And try. I hate using it, but here we go. We have to. <gasps> it works. Okay, it's probably not the greatest eraser in the world, but it does the task. Yay! Now I wonder if you can get more of these little pixel eraser um, pieces so you can make. Yeah. So you can continue making more crafts. I'll have to look into that. I'm sure you must. And yeah, so there you go. So overall, I'm gonna say yeah, it has a little bit of that iffy moment, but uh, I'll let you know. Okay guys, so until next time, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. Take care of yourselves, take care of others, keep playing, and as usual, I cannot wait to see you all. <laughs> Let's try that again. I cannot wait to see you all in the next one. <laughs>